Hello guys. Uh, I'm just replacing the motor in this uh, cassette recorder and I figured I already got it halfway apart and I said well I might as well make a video so here we are and I'm going to get rid of the cat now. Here's how I do it. I even get this thing out and she goes running. I put it right here. Okay anyway if this thing would just focus been having problems with the focus ever since I dropped this camera. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Anyway, I just removed these screws, these little screws here. Um, they go on the... See, this. I already removed this. And they made it really nice and convenient for me because instead of having to remove this whole mechanism, I can just take this plastic piece up. And then motor was attached to it. Just put it just like that. Here's a new motor. And this motor looks a bit odd. Uh, I don't know, but it, it doesn't look... It says Mabushi on it. And this is made by Mabushi too, but... It just looks different. And anyway, it's noisy, so it's coming out. But yeah, this is a brand new one. Hopefully I don't have to do any speed adjustments. Okay, I'm just going to make sure the, uh, the solder things are lined up on this bracket and where it's supposed to be in there. And that looks about right. So now I'm just going to screw the motor to the mounting plate. Okay, that's done. Now this just comes right out of here. The other weird thing is I've never seen one of these with the thing on the bottom just just from this time period is always usually on the side as you can see with that so maybe this is a slightly older model I don't know if any kind of code on there can tell you um, when this was made but here, let me give you a close-up look I just realized something else. Uh, that says uh, counterclockwise, and the motor that's in here is clockwise. That's a big epic fail, but pretty sure I can just hook it up backwards and it'll still work. So we'll find out. Okay, red to negative, black to positive. So it's reversed. So hopefully that works. If not, I will have to order another motor. <laughs> also, we're going to take the pulley off of this. Out. That's on there really tight. Oh, hold on. Pulley off that, and we're gonna put it on here. Try to get it at the same height that it was. Without going too far, right about there. That should be good. Whoops. Now, this can go back in here. I love how they made it so convenient to replace that without having to take it all apart. Oh, can't forget the belt. It's going to come up here. I'm get this back in place. Oh, sorry, you couldn't see what I was doing. Okay, sorry about that. But anyway, I got that in place. Put that screw back in. Now let's make sure the, pulley, the belt didn't fall off the other pulley. I think it did. Let's see. Nope, it's still on. As you can see, they're both turning. Hopefully this will work. Let's put the batteries back in and see. Okay, batteries are in. Let's uh, hit play. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I'm hitting the wrong one. 
and it's working and it's quiet good all right let's put a tape in <laughs> okay <laughs> that's an epic fail I gotta like I gotta adjust the speed now that's way too fast Warning, if you are a tape recorder, the following content may disturb you. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, we got a bit of a problem here. Um, I adjusted it down as far as it'll go and it's still going too fast. So I'm thinking maybe it's because I put a counterclockwise motor in and wired it backwards. Maybe it's only supposed to go one way. That would make sense because why else would they label it as such? So. I guess I'll have to order the right motor and wait another week because I don't see another adjustment. So, uh, well, this will have to stay in pieces for a while.